this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. Last time, we got stuck here at Alma Mine. Whatever something. shall we do? Well, we can't progress with the plot from here because we don't have the explosives to get into the mine. So for now, we're going to have to backtrack a bit. But uh, before we do that, let's see. I want to buy a new piece of armor, the Silver Mail. And yeah, it's a pretty good boost to defense and magic defense. One thing about this particular version of the game compared to the original is that the enemies, especially bosses, can hit you really hard. So that's one of the reasons why I'm putting more of a focus on armor purchases in this LP compared to the original game, where I might otherwise go with horn charms, which are still really good, don't get me wrong. I would buy them for Rainy in the original version. But in this version, we need the defense. The first, well, not the first two. Well, a couple of the early boss fights are pretty tough without upgrading your armor. So that's why I want to go for that. But yeah, we got a little traveling merchant there. We got, well, this shack right next to the mine. Oh, good for you guys. Hmm, well, remember that guy for later. But all right, we get some more healing items. Awesome. By the way, someone was asking me, Ichi Bailey, where's all the new uh, content in the game here? I think this chest was one of the ones that was changed too. But yeah, uh, just so you know, the early parts of the game are still largely the same to the original. It's really not until towards the end of chapter one that we really start getting into the new content, and then it proceeds at a fairly regular pace of getting more of the new stuff. So it does take a little while to get to it, even in perfect mode, but we'll get there soon enough, soon enough. Okay, so we got, yeah, we did everything we could on this path here, hit a dead end. So now we need to go back to get to the other timeline. So let's head on over there then. Well, fortunately, at least figuring out the endings was pretty easy there with that decision point. Yeah, you could just press start to skip cutscenes here. But yeah, that is one thing with, like, the decision points in the game. When you have bad endings, it's usually pretty easy to figure out what decisions will lead to the bad ending. If it's something that, like, is earth-shattering, like nuking all of Alistair or something, that will probably lead to a bad ending. If you have a couple choices that hey, stop. seem reasonable, but one of them seems more likely to be the good choice, that's probably the one that will lead to the bad ending. But all right, let's choose to stay with Heist this time around. Oh yeah, and also, if there's like a decision point that's just like one that you did earlier in the game, but, well, yeah, I mean, it's the same kind of decision point, the option that worked to proceed with the plot the previous time will be the one that leads you to the bad ending this time. So the game likes to really screw if you like that. Rosh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to continue working under Heist. And Stock likes to screw with Rosh's head. Actually, they both like to do that to each other. I see. Oh, I'm disappointed, but it's your choice. To be honest, I really could have used your support. I want you on my team, Doc. But if that's the path you choose, I'll respect your decision. Oh. Well, thank you. Good luck, buddy. I'll be awaiting your return. What do you mean, my return? Am I going somewhere? Well, joining Rash wouldn't really change anything anyway. Not like the explosives are getting there. This way. Oh! Yep. How's it going? I've been waiting for you, Stop. What's the matter? You look like there's something on your mind. Hmm? Oh! Well, I just got... turned down a promotion. It's nothing. Ah. Alright then. To business. 
The job this time is to apprehend a certain person. You're still convalescing, but it shouldn't be a challenge. A certain person, eh? Who is it we're talking about? Where did we go? His name is Vlad. He's the leader of a rebel faction who opposes the prophet Noah. Ah! I didn't know we had any rebels. A rebel faction? General Hugo requested this, didn't he? Oh, well, maybe. Everyone in Alistel is at the beck and call of the prophet. <laughs> A man in my position has nothing to say about that, but it's true. Faith in the prophet Noah is the fuel that drives this nation. And we can ill afford to condone anyone who throw a wrench into the works. Mm, yeah, that's true. Does that not satisfy you? No, that's fine. Tell me more about this Vlad. The Impaler? We haven't found out what he looks like yet, but we do know something of his movements. Said some bait, have you? They're nothing special, as rebel factions go. From what I've heard, there's a similar resistance in Granor. Hmm, remember that for later, viewers. Theirs seems to be giving them a great deal of trouble. Well, they seem to be kicking our ass up until very recently. Ours, on the other hand, poses little threat. They fall quickly into our traps. So where am I headed? Start at the item store in the first ward. The owner there is one of my informants. Find out anything he knows about Vlad, and take whatever measures you deem appropriate. Sounds like a plan! You want me to capture him, not kill him. They mean very little in the greater scheme of things, but we can learn much from them. Understood. I'll begin at once. Let's see, how does this work in the White Chronicle here? Okay, so now you see we're on the uh, upper path here. So this path is going to be where we stick with Heist. This path is where we stick with Rosh there. And you'll have to hop back and forth between them as you progress through the game to unlock some things. And you notice that since we stuck with Heist, yeah, we don't get the side quests here. Nuts. Uh, rain again? Didn't it just rain like yesterday? Well, I guess stock was out for like, what, three days, I think they said, or something or other like that. Hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. Well, how many other people wear my colors? Well, besides Rosh. And here I am. Tell me what you know about Vlad, and I'll take it from there. <laughs> how will I know him? But a lot of people wear robes. Doesn't anyone have an umbrella? All right. I'll be on the lookout for a robed man. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Got it. Thanks. Whoa. What do you mean? I'm a JRPG protagonist. Oh. Well, I've already seen your wares. <laughs> and I don't need anything. But, yeah, I'm getting out of here. This guy's creeping me out a little bit. Hmm, if only I had six more gold. But alright, let's head on to... The bar there, hopefully you've got... Oh, you know, I should probably remove those and give them the stack. Not that it's absolutely critical, but we might as well. Yeah, armor is a bit more important than weapons early in the game. Hey. So yeah, you just go into the bar and this guy shows up. What offering? Ah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. It's a bomb! No. Nah. No. Nah. Good day. Just kidding, viewers. This time.
So how are you gonna arrest the guy anyway? You got like handcuffs or what? But alright, let's get out of here. Hey, how's it going? Hmm. Are you Vlad? <laughs> I'm here to arrest you. I'm to bring you in. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not really a soldier. Not anymore. Shut up. Well, that's the general idea. <laughs> uh, he said, don't you ever get to wondering? But why wouldn't he? <sighs> oh. Hmm. I couldn't care less. My mission is to apprehend you, and that's what I intend to do. <sighs> I thought I told you to shut up. <laughs> I'll make you! Huh. Well, I, I think I will be hounding you to your grave. The brave do not fear the grave! For boss time! Yeah, I love the boss music in this game. In this one, we have to win. So, let's see. Yeah, let's just go with Power Wave. If you don't have that already, you might want to go with Push Assault instead, but Power Wave is a good way to go here. If, if Vlad goes to the front row, I probably want to push him back, but otherwise I'll just stick with uh, Power Wave and keep an eye on my HP. I want to try and keep him... or keep myself above 50 HP. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, if he moved to the front row earlier, I would have pushed him back. But since I'm so close to killing him... Yeah, just four power waves, boom, you got him. Something else you could do is use the change command on a boss over and over and over again to string together a bunch of turns. But the enemies can hit you pretty hard if you do that. Because you'd be vulnerable. So, yeah, it's a lot harder to get away with that in this version of the game than the original. Too bad we finished the boss fight so quickly we didn't get to hear much of the music, but oh well. All the mu boss music in the game is great. Well, all the music really is. Yeah, yeah, that's enough out of you. You can shoot your mouth off in an interrogation cell. Damn it. What are you doing here? That was amazing, Stock. I'd never have guessed you were still on the mend. I was? If you can handle a sword that well, you should have no problem getting back to work. Oh, yeah. Well, aren't I already at work? What are you two doing here? <laughs> we were called as backup in case anything happened. Oh, so if I died, would I... Would you guys have come to back me up in the boss fight? But you handled it yourself just fine. We'll be waiting back at Heiss's office. Spoiler alert! No! You do actually have to win the fight. Uh, Rainy and Marco will not actually be there to back you up during the fight if you lose. Alright. I'll see you there. Yeah, I guess the idea is that if he actually, if Vlad actually killed you, they wouldn't have gotten to you in time. So, yeah, kind of would have been nice if they did that, but nah, nah, it doesn't work that way. But yeah, pretty easy boss fight there. They will not, or after this point, the boss fights get much more difficult. There you are, Stock. Hey, how's it going? Heiss is waiting in his office. So where do we have interrogation cells around here anyway? I don't know. That was a marvelous display you put on. So... What did we manage to wring from him? Hmm. Yes, you should know. They were hatching a plot to plunder the army's supply of explosives. <sighs> the shipment was originally meant for use at Alma Mine. I assume they have less savory intentions for the explosives. Hmm. So where are these explosives now? Well, the rebels are weak and few in number. We can easily foil their plots before they start. 
The real problem here is if the explosives don't reach Alma Mine. Oh, yeah, that would be a problem. I'm not sure how this will affect the other timeline, but we'll just go with this. If the explosives don't reach their destination in time, the repercussions would be severe. That's it in a nutshell. Then, am I tasked with preventing the heist? No, no, I already have an agent dealing with that. Oh, good, good. I had a more delicate mission in mind for you. Tell me more. I won't mince words here. This mission stands a chance of putting an end to our long war against Granorg. Hey, hey, all right. There's no one else I can trust with such a vital mission. No one but you, Stock. What's the objective? You keep on saying that, Heiss. You will begin by heading to Granorg. More than that, I can't say now. The situation changes hourly. What do you mean? Once the final order is given, you'll be contacted on site. It may seem like a roundabout way of doing things. Such are the difficulties of the mission. Very well. Sounds like a deal. To start, you'll have to update yourself with the current best way to enter Granorg territory. A straight line? Then you'll liaise with our border agent at Lasville Hills. Or that. He's on another mission in the Alma Mine now, but he'll come to Lasville Hills when he's done. Hmm, I wonder if that's the guy we met before. If it's a simple border crossing, wouldn't we just pass through the Sand Fortress? Yeah, I mean, don't we control that territory now? I don't see the need to pick up any special intel for that. And if I told you that the Sand Fortress is on the verge of being recaptured by the enemy? That fast? Is that true? Maybe we haven't gotten a foothold in there much yet. It's an old story now with any border stronghold. We capture it, the enemy takes it back, and we reclaim it again in an endless cycle. Maps. Control of the Sand Fortress is too fluid to be reliable for this mission. Hence the need for the most current information. I see. You'll rendezvous with the contact near the bridge at Lasville Hills. Is it in service? Wait there. He'll come to you. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, and I said this earlier when we met in the medical facility. But you'll have those two along as your subordinates for this mission again. Hey, all right. It's a difficult mission, and you'll need to work together to accomplish it. Looks like we're in the same boat again, Stock. Good thing I leveled up, you guys. Let's make this another success. Sounds good. We'll wait for you outside the castle. Please excuse us, Heiss. Mm-hmm. I'll be expecting as much from you as I did before. We'll do our best to live up to your expectations, sir. I suspect that in the course of your mission, you'll learn the truth about this continent. What do you mean by that? Excuse me? It's gathering info on that one of our objectives. No, but... It would hardly be a waste of your time to find out. Oh, huh? well, I, I guess I'll keep that in mind. Once you know, you'll feel that it was better for you to have discovered it. So, that's something to look forward to. G good, good. That will be all. Prepare yourselves first, then head to the bridge at Lasville Hills. Are we... Where are we in... Re or where are we meeting in relation to the bridge? Understood. You're not gonna tell us, are you? Spoiler alert! No! But alright, let's get out of here. I heard you're going to Grand Orc. Hey, how's it going? Aren't you pushing your luck a little too far with this one? What do you mean by that? It's the heart of the enemy's territory, for goodness sake. Well, we're gonna have to go there sooner or later. I know the risks. No, I don't think you do. Remember who's headquartered there. The entire empire? Queen Protea's two personal attendants, major figures in Granorg's military. Well, I already worked around one of them. Diaz and Selva, right? 
On one hand, you have the Cordonite Diaz, their most active commander. And on the other, the scholar Selva, with an iron grip on their parliament. They have a parliament? Why would they have that when they have a queen? Plus, Palomides, the executioner, Diaz's right-hand man, is supposed to be there too. Going to Granor is putting yourself amongst the wolves. Well, I'm not going to be coming in direct contact with them. I'm a spy, not a soldier. Nobody would do that unless they were willing to throw their life away. Besides, I can time travel if any problems occur. I won't necessarily come into direct conflict with them. <laughs> but there's no way to guarantee that. If you were to be found out, not even you could wriggle your way free of that. Sure I could. Rosh, this is hardly the first dangerous mission I've taken, and I've never gone about any of them intending to get myself killed. Can you promise me you won't become another casualty of this damn war? Yes. Stock, come on. How long are you going to keep working for Heiss? I don't know what's gotten into him. He's been at odds with the army all the time lately. Hasn't he always been at odds with the army? I worry sometimes that he's just using you. Well, yeah, I work for him. Do yourself a favor, man. Come back to the army. Aren't you supposed to be going to the Alma Mine? Let's work together, just like we used to. Even if Heiss is using me, it's my call to make, not yours. Besides, it's all the same to me if I'm working for the army or for SI. I'll do whatever job comes down for me if it's for the sake of Alistair. That's all. Even if it leads to your death. Rosh, why are you so hung up on that? You're a soldier. You knew what we were in for when we signed up. Right, of course. But Stock, it's been barely any time at all since you nearly died at Lasville Hills. I'm a JRPG protagonist. I sense the stink of death on you, and my premonition almost came true. Maybe this time it really will. Well, from what I heard on the other timeline, it looks like we're not doing too well there either. Damn it. I'm trying as hard as I can, and you... Rosh, don't. Sonia, I don't mean to be rude, but stay out of this. This is between us two. Well, from my perspective, you seem to be projecting your worries onto him. <sighs> you always seem to know just how to hit where it hurts. I'm worried about stock too, but... Hey, hey! I wasn't done with you! I am! I'm touched by your concern, but I'm not planning to treat this as a suicide mission. I'm just doing what's necessary for my country. So that's the last word as far as you're concerned, huh? That's the general idea, yeah. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> Honestly, why do we put our lives on the line like this for the sake of the job? You're in the army. I would think you would be a hell of a lot more likely to die on the job than a spy. It's because that's the only way there is. For you, and him. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. We'll be fine. You've returned, Stock. Yeah, I've heard that one before. You have chosen a path which diverges from your friends. But your paths will cross again someday. On this timeline? I'm certain of it. Now, let us add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. What do you mean, a new chapter? Well, we've got, well, new chapters that'll pop up every now and then as we progress through the story. And they'll uh, create nodes in the White Chronicle. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? And we can go back to them whenever, you know, we need to go back and forth between the timeline there. Where are Rainy and Marco waiting for us outside the castle? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!